it never stops flashing. All right, I'm back to the walkthrough. This is Zone 7 with Knuckles, Mushroom Hill Zone, Act 1. Woo! Uh, oh, maybe I should have grabbed those rings way back there. Or you can, oh, you know, I can just go into this bonus area for a Master Emerald, or I should say an Emerald here. As you can see, I don't have anything over here, so I'm going to have to go back out. Uh, those are basically placements for emeralds that you get uh, earlier in the game, the first six levels of the game. There are some rings. Now I can play a little more recklessly. Um, and I'm also playing very slow because I'm trying to explain something. Uh, because when you get those emeralds and those emerald, uh, those bigger emeralds, will, or the, I should say those place cards, place mats, whatever you want to call them, will be filled up with other emeralds, bigger emeralds that you can try and get later on in the bonus stages, which I will be covering later. Uh, woo! And boink! And yeah, these automatically give you a nice speed boost. Oh no, I got it! No, not the mushroom! Not the mushroom! Not the mushroom in the face! I just I actually find that kind of humorous though. The mushroom just goes, ow, goes right in your face. And then it, and it just like, uh, it propels you backwards. It's like it's stuck to your face or something. Uh, and yeah, you can just use these with knuckles, just to press the right to go right, left to ow, oh, left to go left, and there's some spikes over there, that is delightful. But luckily I was invincible at the time, and it won't be a Sonic 1 glitch where you still take a hit from a spike uh, while you're uh, invincible, which should not happen, but that's a glitch only in Sonic 1, which means I'm glad I'm not playing Sonic 1, and what the heck hit me? <laughs> oh, that thing. Ah, no, I didn't mean to go down. Down as death! Actually, this isn't much of death, but it is a lot slower than if I would have just jumped up here manually, so that took a little longer than expected, but whatever. There goes- That mushroom is still going! I thought that sprite would have despawned by now. Well, now it's gone. Hey, no, no. No springy, grippy thingies. I am not a fly in a spider web. I am an echidna. Hey, stop bumping me backwards, mushroom top spiky thingy. Ow! Actually, it's more like a mushroom top spring, so to speak. Uh, or I don't know what the heck they're called. I'm sure someone knows what they're called. I used to know what they're called, but now I don't. And we're at the boss already. Wow. Only two minutes to the boss, and I was really lollygagging around. <laughs> uh, whoa! I forgot about this. Uh, in this in this version of the boss with Knuckles, uh, he shoots logs that bounce and go straight across like that. Ah! I can't duck under that, can I? And, duh! Do! And that was it. <laughs> that was pretty dang simple, I know, but uh, hey, it's the first boss of Sonic and Knuckles. <clears throat> because this technically is a separate game than Sonic 3. Uh, but actually, in the production, they were supposed to be one whole game in one. You know, they were supposed to be uh, one one game in itself, but due to... Uh, oh, by the way, this is the switch that Knuckles pressed to make Sonic go to the upper tier. Anyway, uh... The history of the game is that uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I, I mean Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3, ow, were supposed to be the same game. And it turned out that uh, due to time constraints, they weren't able to do that, so they separated them into two games, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, which were then able to lock on into the game that I'm playing right now. <clears throat> so if you ever wondered why they could lock on, that's why. But I don't know how they were able to make uh, Sonic and Knuckles lock on to Sonic. Sonic 2, that was, that's pretty interesting actually, woo, no dragonfly attack, <clears throat> uh, because it was only intended to be with uh, just Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic and 3, but I guess maybe because they delayed the release of the full game, so to speak, that they had separated into two games, that they, uh, they, they, they may have had more time to throw in that little extra feature of Knuckles being in Sonic 2. Woo! Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, that was just mean. All right, let's try this again. Woo! And upsy-daisy. There we go. When your body is facing straight up, then you should let go of that thing. And by let go, I mean press the jump button. And I'm already nearing the second boss. Wow. This is going quick. Uh, Knuckle stage from Sonic is not much different than Sonic stage. Oops, hey, 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 hey. Uh, in fact, uh, all you do in that first part is just take the lower road, and that's it. So it's actually uh, pretty much the same as Sonic and Tails' stage. So 
there's not much difference in the stage, so I'm just replaying it for the heck of it. Yay! Well, I guess that's slightly different since you can take different routes to get through the stage thanks to Knuckles' climbing and gliding abilities. Uh, so I guess you could save a little more time in some cases with Knuckles. Woo! But only in some cases. And as you've seen, the boss is also a slightly different, and I'll give him a couple hits. Uh, ow! Or I'll just take a hit myself, you know, that'll work. But I think that actually counted as a hit, if I'm not mistaken. Remember with this part, only jump at the boss when you can, not when uh, you have an opportunity to, because otherwise you'll get hit by those little spiky bars there. And I think that would hurt <clears throat> quite a bit, and I don't think you want that. And maybe it doesn't uh, give him a hit when I hit him way back there. Or maybe it does, I don't know, I wasn't really counting the hits. Usually it's eight hits to beat one of these bosses. Ah, uh, well, I guess that's it for Mushroom Hill Zone. I am a happy little echidna. And so are the chipmunks and birdies below me. Whee! For being freed from the dangerous capsule. Oh no! Catch up with the Knuckles! You can do it! Go Knuckles, go! Yeah! That was hardcore. Flying Battery Zone, Act 1. Let's go, baby. Woo! Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's not many changes to this stage either. But, now that you have Knuckles, you can go up here and get a shield, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, it is a lightning shield and some star power. Well, it's, it's invincibility, but yeah, it is stars. And I think it's this one. Yep. And it's the middle one. No, wait, it's not the middle one. My bad. But whatever, yeah, there was indeed a shield there, and I think that electric shield would have been better off than my... Well, no, the fire shield would have been better, um, because of the fact that there's a lot of fire in this level. So I guess I'm happy with my fire shield, or I should say I, I am happy, or will, would be happy with my fire shield, or more happy with the fire shield than the electric shield. Man, I am just mistalking all over the place today. And yeah, there isn't anything up there. I just wanted to make sure. Um, I'm going to do one of these bonus stages just for the heck of it. Uh, oh, this is the bouncy one. You go all, all the way up to the top here and hit this capsule here. Though that clear one there is nothing. Uh, that B is a shield, it's a barrier shield, that's a water shield, that's an electric shield. Uh, I like my fire shield back, actually. As you can see, those little bumpers on the side uh, get less and less as you go. So that's a, a little bit of a problem there. Oh, there's a one up! Oh, that was my fire shield that I wanted, oh so desperately, oh well. Yeah. Oh well, uh, I'm sad oh, that I have a bubble shield, but that's okay. I just wanted to show you how that stage worked. Depending on which capsule or bubble you get, the different uh, depends on. I mean, changes, not changes. What am I saying today? Gives you different things. Like the ring one would have gave you ten rings if I would have grabbed that one, and stuff like that. It, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Ah! Oh, I forgot that thing hits you from the bottom. I mean, it hurts you from the bottom. Okay, all the way up. And because Knuckles doesn't have as high of a jump, I recommend you climb this like this, and then just glide all over what, all over to the other side like this, and then... Ah! Oh! That could have been disastrous. I'm just going to carefully hit that and kill these critters. And I have no rings, and I don't want to die. Thank you for the rings. Good lord. <laughs> That was getting a little dangerous there. And I still love those mechanical spikes. I think that's such a nice touch. And I don't need to hit that, do I? No, watch off that skate there. And go down. Yes, you have to go down despite the down is death theory. But hey, that's just how the game leads you. Don't squish me. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, what's up here? Can I take... Oh, I can take this route up with Knuckles. So I'm going to take this route with Knuckles. Just because I can. I'm going to hit the spring first, of course. Yeah, this is a route that you can't normally take with Sonic, and I'm going ultra slow for some reason there. <laughs> Maybe I should have spin dashed you all that. Oh well. Woo! Hey, that drill didn't make any drill sound. I just noticed that. Okay, come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And yeah, hit over there. Come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Over here. Yeah, yeah. Break a hole into here. Yay, I'm happy. I am destroying <clears throat> airships like no problem. And you can just jump right ow, right across here when there's no spike fall, I was just going to say. Uh, I didn't see any spike ball there, which is why I jumped, which was a bad idea. And here's some more of these thingies here. I, I don't recommend that you normally stand on the center of that round thing where those spike balls were. Because it's kind of hard to uh, judge the angle of your jumps unless you're uh, jumping right in the center of it. Then, man, I'm going slow. <laughs> I'm so used to going fast, and I'm just like... Bleh. Okay, next boss is this critter. You remember this critter, right? 
stand on here and wait for it to swing its arm, then, oh shoot, then walk off or spin dash off to the side where the arm is coming down from. Just like that. I'll, I'll, I think I'll just walk off because I, sp I spin dash way too early on that first one, but that's okay. Yep. And one, wait, no, wait, it's three more. I, I was thinking of another boss that only took four hits. Uh, any day now, you know, you can kill yourself. Wait, was that five hits? Come to think of it, I wasn't really counting it. Point! Woo! Sign post behind the capsule. 